Now a Target 12 investigators exclusive. A top doctor at Cranston's Eleanor Slater Hospital told state officials he was worried about his safety after a call last week with union leaders. Good evening. I'm Mike Montecalvo. And I'm Chelsea Jones in for Shannon Heggie. It's the latest development in the saga of struggling hospital, which provides psych psychiatric services and complex medical care at its Cranston and Burville campuses. Target 12 investigator Tolly Taylor is here now with the exclusive details. No matter what side of the fight over the Eleanor Slater Hospital people are on, one thing all parties can agree on is the discussions over the future of the hospital have grown toxic. Target 12 obtained an email Dr. Andrew Stone sent his bosses at the Rhode Island Department of Behavioral Health Care, Developmental Disabilities, and Hospitals, known as Buddha. The email followed a call with a dozen union workers and administrators at Eleanor Slater Hospital last Thursday. Stone, the chief of medical services at Cranston's location, claimed union business manager Michael Sabatoni threatened him if Stone moved patients from Burrillville to Cranston because of an issue with the hospital's oxygen system. Stone wrote, I also wish to have this email preserved should anything untoward happen to me. Stone's email also states, I understand that labor donates a lot of money to political figures. I fear that money and political power may be more important than keeping patients out of danger. Target 12 interviewed several people who were on the call, with some agreeing with Stone's accusation, while others said the call was heated but not threatening. Sabatoni denied Stone's claim, though he does acknowledge the conversation became emotional, telling Target 12, I have no confidence in the people I was on the call with last Thursday. At a House Oversight Committee meeting about Eleanor Slater last week, the conversation became similarly combative. State Representative David Place blasted Buddha officials for considering moving patients. It's inhumane. And it's just wrong, and the fact that you can sleep at night, that you've been planning this, is amazing. Governor Dan McKee has proposed allocating $65 million in the fiscal 2021-22 budget to build a new long-term care facility to replace Zamborano Hospital in Burrillville. With the Target 12 investigators, Tolly Taylor, 12 News.